Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode uh, with myself and Breakout Plays. Hopefully, you guys are having a great weekend. Today is Sunday, April 24th. Uh, oh, my God, 24th. I think it's uh, Monday, but because, you know, on trade again. But <laughs> it's, it's actually Sunday, April 23rd. And so I want to kind of go through, like, what is happening uh, the week ahead so you're prepared for the markets. We have a lot of earnings this week, uh, courtesy of Trade Exchange, this report here. You have all the earnings, got Amazon, Boeing, Caterpillar, Google, General Motors, Coca-Cola, Love, Southwest Airlines, MasterCard, McDonald's, Meta, Triple N, Microsoft, Pepsi, Snap, Spotify, UPS. It's all here. Such a busy earnings week. And so you could see here there's a lot of like little company events on the right. And then here you have some economic data, consumer confidence on Tuesday, new home sales, durable goods, Wednesday, wholesale inventories. Thursday, jobless claims, pending home sales. Friday, Chicago PMI and consumer sentiment. And if I scroll down, we've got a list of all the conferences. You can go through that on your own. Just pause the video. And then you got here the um, economic calendar for the week. So anything in yellow obviously highlights all the different times of day that you'll hear some economic data. So it'll be um, quite some um, busy economic reports. But the best part of this report this week is this. There are no Fed speakers for this week. They are in a blackout period. And uh, FOMC is going to be on May 3rd. So obviously, you could see here, another week of nothingness, okay? And exactly that. A lot of things in the market just kind of like sitting still, you know? And, um, you know, it's kind of like consolidation. You know, people could be waiting you know, are they waiting for earnings? Are they waiting for the um, FOMC event to hear about what's happening with the rates? Is it going to be another another um, rate increase or no rate increase? So everyone's kind of like waiting. The market doesn't like uncertainty. But again, just a no, a no nonsense, uh, if, <laughs> a nothingness in the market, which was true because you could see that it wasn't that busy. It just kind of felt like certain days of the week, the market felt slow, felt really lame. It was like, oh, my gosh, she's just like watching paint dry. So in the meantime, just trade what you see. Be patient and wait for these trading opportunities because they will come. We have a lot of earnings coming. So you know, if the earnings are good, you will see some action in the market. So just be patient and just wait for those results to come out. So excited for it. And so let's see what happens. So my pick of the week is going to be um, NVIDIA, okay? I've talked about NVIDIA before, as you guys know, they're very heavily involved into uh, AI and they are a leader. And uh, after we had uh, Jen Sen with his sexy leather jacket uh, do a presentation, uh, the stocks kind of just not really looked back and they've really done a great job, um, especially with their AI chip and um, there's a demand for it. You had the news not that long ago um, that Elon Musk bought a lot of those um, for his upcoming um, AI. What is it? What is he having? He's building his little um, AI. I don't want to say AI service, but his GPT uh, chat GPT service. So in the meantime, that sent the stock to a little bit of an upside. But I don't think you take this, your eyes off the stock. And what I'm looking for here, actually, if I go to the chart, uh, I am looking actually for this chart to make a move to the upside. I really like the action that we saw last week. Kind of looked like it was kind of curling here. But what I'm looking for with NVIDIA in particular, um, I am looking for this to get over 280 for a further continuation uh, for a move towards 290. I'm still targeting, I've mentioned in other videos, okay, I'm still targeting for NVIDIA to actually head towards um, $300 longer term. So, you know, will it be this month? may it could um but i don't know i need to see this break 280 but I, i'm still look. i'm still bullish on nvidia and it's just going to take some time for results to get there but definitely don't take your eyes off this chart it wants to still go and so keep it on your watch list wait for confirmation and then you know my my level for me to go long term okay is to um wait for the 280 break so I'm going to wait and see if this can trigger a move to the upside. I'm still going to probably day trade around that level um, if it does break certain resistance points during the day. But I will take um, a swing position 
with time on it, um, maybe into like the month of June. And um, for the target that I'm looking for, which is 290. So if it breaks 280, I'm looking for 290. So keep NVIDIA on your watch. And um, I'd like to hear from Breakout, what is your thoughts on NVIDIA? Pago Vegas. Yeah, I totally agree with what you're saying. It's um, a stock I own in my long-term portfolio. I love the company long-term. Um, ju just like yourself, I, I like this technically over 282 to 290. But, you know, for the day trade, I mean, if we go into this week and we break 272, I think we can get a day trade at 277. And then back to your point, it's all about can we break this 281 for, you know, not far off a 10-point run. But long-term, just like yourself, Vegas, I, I do like it far from a upside path that. But going into this week, we had LT pull back last week. We still hold in the daily uptrend, and we bounced off a nice volume shell. So I think this will be a nice stock to watch for a day trade this week, even though you know you like it longer term. I, I do also think it's some nice day trades in this uh, for the coming week. So yeah, I, I like it. I agree. Okay, well, thank you for your side of the story because you know what, I love hearing what you think too because you know sometimes we see things differently, and uh, there is no right or wrong way to trade a stock, but. I, it's nice to hear what other people might think. And, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'm okay with it. You know, no one's a perfect trader. Um, so let me hear your thoughts on what you're looking at this week because I know you have a pick to share as well. Yeah, so my, 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 my pick this week is going to be Amazon. So this is so the daily chart on Amazon. Amazon. It was a play we had last week in my room. Uh, last week, I thought we did the 114 last week. It was set up nice. I'm going that way, but uh, um, this is the chop and everything last week, we didn't quite get it. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be a continuation. Yeah, yeah. We've got two trend lines. I like to see best and old going into the week. So my entry for calls will be over 109.50 with a target of 114. So even with a day trade, you've got three and a half points there, but with options, you know, you play close enough to the money or even at target area will uh, give you a nice reward. For your uh, risk there, yeah, yeah. my pick this week is going to be Amazon. Yeah. It's crucial that we clear this trend. Yeah. Alone. Yeah. My entry yeah. point will be yeah. one hundred and fifty. Yeah. Target of one fourteen. We got earnings yeah. 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 from the calls. I like the company also. Yeah. I think the video long term. Yeah. Long term. Had a day trade this week. I'm looking for fourteen by thirty. I'm awfully going to cast a run. Guys, week, guys. Uh, Amazon, one on so yeah, so if it breaks one on 950, you're looking for a target of 114. So I hope you guys are listening to these targets and the and the entry points because you know if you're not if you're just watching the video and you're not writing this down, the trade could trigger and you're gonna miss out on an opportunity to make some money. So write it down. Nvidia over 280. I'm gonna look into a swing and um breakouts looking for an Amazon to break. 109.50 targeting 114 so write that down and set up an alert on your on your desktop and if it triggers then you should know what to do so obviously have a trade plan of your own have your own stops manage your risk watch your position size and uh trade you know with confidence too you know manage you know trade with, with uh, what works for you so <clears throat> that's pretty much our two picks for the week nvidia and amazon and uh we look forward to uh talking to you guys again next week we want to see what kind of week we have. Thank God, like I said, those Fed speakers are not talking. And uh, hopefully um, there'll be some an, a smoother week to trade. We know when they talk, there's volatility in the market, which actually is just ridiculous because you know what? There's no value in anything they say. Do you like what do you like when they talk, breakout? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, there you go. Especially for option traders, as you know, I mean, I mean the yacht, the yacht, they can be detrimental to the premium. So, yeah, it's great that we haven't got them, and I, I welcome it. <laughs> and yeah, I welcome them. You know, this just ban them from speaking, and they should just get rid of them completely. Should, shouldn't even be allowed to talk during the market hours. I mean, if they have to talk once once in a while, you know, that's fine, but not every single day. I mean, this I, I just ridiculous. So let's see what the market's going to do, guys. Go with the flow. Let the trades come to you. Let trades confirm. You know, just you don't have to be in every trades. Don't have to catch everything that's moving. Just wait for some good opportunities, and there will be great 
great opportunities in the coming weeks because you know a lot of earnings are reporting and once those earnings go uh, reported there'll be some great potential momentum in the market so personally for me i am still bullish in the market and looking for some continuation to the upside over the coming weeks so uh you know sometimes they say go away and sell in may or sell in may and go away um i wonder how true that's going to be this year so I'm going to be, you know, an observer, but I definitely want to see what's going to happen in the coming sessions. But, you know, I'm still bullish in the market and just following the price actions, the bottom line, really don't care about watching people on CNBC and uh, listening to all these talking heads, talking about all these different things and sometimes make giving people fear. And, you know, it's the worst thing is to be scared out of a trade that you're in only to see like a week or two later, the trade you were in was fine. And, this, and the stock starts to go. So let the charts talk to you. Let the price action be the person that talks to you. And um, stop listening to all these people on TV. So hopefully have a good trading week. Wish everyone success in your trades. And uh, we will come back next week. And if you want to follow uh, Breakout Plays, um, he's got his own service as well. It's a Breakout Plays. Oops, let me go here. Sorry, let me sh show your um, site here. Uh, this is Breakout Plays dot com do you guys oh do you see oh you don't see it yet hold on let me add it to my screen sorry about that guys okay there it is breakoutplays.com you can check him out here on his website and consider a subscription to his service very very good service very good value if you want to consider coming to my service as well i have my own service for uh, day trade room uh, swing trade room or annual plan and then obviously i have um Joe Fami down here. He has an educational product for more, more for like investing and swing swings a service. So you can check out his product as well. Highly recommend as well. And a great teacher too. So if you love learning from someone with great experience as well, he's a great teacher. So you have lots of choices here. We look forward to uh, seeing you guys next week and uh, myself and breakout and, um, Hopefully you guys have a good trading week. And if you guys do well with the trades we talk about, uh, please make sure to let us know. We love hearing from you guys. You can comment on our Twitter page and let us know how those trades worked out if those trades trigger. So see you guys next week. Have a wonderful weekend.